In this video, we are going to create a video <laughs> for KW Command. Thanks for following along 365 days of KW Command with Lori Vegas Ballin. And let's go ahead and create a video. I'm inside designs and inside designs. We have email, landing page, social print, agent sites, and now we have video. So we can click on the plus sign below to add a design or here we have the option to create one as well. Let's go ahead and create one. And then we're going to select video next. Now we're going to go ahead and select a neighborhood because we're going to do a neighborhood smart video. So I'm going to take a look and see what I've got in my searches here. Okay, there we go. So I've got the vistas north and I've got the vistas south. So let's just go ahead and do the vistas north and we'll click next. Okay, now this is what's beautiful about this. The video we're going to create we can use the data that's already populated or we can override anything else that we want. So if we believe that that is not the correct price for the Vistas North for whatever reason, we can change that, you know, because depending on what data we're using. Are home prices on the decline or are they on the incline? We can change that as well. Uh, what's the average price per square foot? Holding steady on the rise. How many homes are for sale and days on market? So what I'm personally doing is looking at my MLS to verify the stats because if I'm creating a market report and I'm putting that out, I want these to be kind of, I want these to be close. And then neighborhood features. So this is being populated by, um, you know, can be populated by people putting in local insights and whatnot. You can get rid of these and then you can, you can, choose what you believe is in the neighborhood. So we are definitely a, a dog lovers neighborhood up here in Summerlin and definitely uh, fitness oriented. And let's see what else we have. Healthy foods, hardworking, hipster, historic, uh, live experiences, live music, lots of dancing. Oh, that's great for downtown Vegas for me here. Uh, movie outdoors or outdoorsy sites to see student life trendy eats wine lovers all right i'm gonna go with wine lovers i think that's good so you can just put in um those let's see if it cuts us off yeah it's so max of three that's what i thought it was then we have agent information so this is going to pull in from your uh market profile so you want to make sure you have that set up and you can click to update it here if you want to put a new photo on there and then in fact and I'll wait and I'll do mine after because I do have a, a, a new photo. So market center brokerage information all looks correct. So then you just click next and then it'll say generating video. Hold tight. This may take up to 10 seconds. Now, my suggestion for this video is that we start making these on whatever neighborhoods we want to be known for. So I'm in an area called Summerlin up here in Las Vegas, and we have a bunch of these little villages and little neighborhoods. So I'm going to really focus on Summerlin for a while, all hitting all those neighborhoods. We don't need to do everything in our town, right? Just showing people we're the specialists in an area. So let's go ahead and watch this video. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to save it. Okay, now our video should be showing up under this tab so that we can get to it. There it is right here. 
Okay, now we have three dots here. If we click on those three dots, we can download the video. We can use it in campaigns. We can share it on social. We can rename it and we can delete it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the download option. So see it downloads just like anything else. So I would call that the Vistas North Market Report February 2020. So every month or every week if you wanted to, but every month we can now create the video, download it, we can put it on YouTube, we can embed it on our market report, we can send it out as an email to our uh, potential buyers. There's so much we can do with these videos, right? So we went ahead and downloaded it. So now I can upload it to YouTube if I wanna do that. I can use it in campaigns. Let's, let's first look at share on social. So let's go ahead and share this to social. Okay, gosh, guys, for all of us that have been wondering how what do we post on social? What do we post on social? I need a social media manager. There are over 2000 designs in KW command. And imagine how many of these videos that we can make on a regular basis. And if you specialize in a neighborhood, just, just updating this once a week or even once a month is a, is a huge component. All right. So here we have, uh, what would you like to share the vistas North market report? and local guide, something like that. Now, if I want to, there's a little call to action on the end of this video for the app. So what I'm gonna do here is I have my app URL and my app text code. I can paste my app URL into that description. So I can, all, I can use this now as a call to action to get the app, okay? So there's our video, our link, when would you like it to post? So now we can schedule the post to go out at a later time, or we can choose to publish it immediately. Now here we've got this little icon, the best days to post are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings. The more we use command, the more the insights are going to tell us the actual best times to post based on, uh, on, on our use of the system. So this is one of the powers of uh, KW command when we all start using it is good is the insights. So where do I want to post it? Do I want it to go to Twitter, Facebook? Okay, there's that. And I'll just go ahead and publish immediately. I can save this as a draft. I can create another one. So if I'm sitting here one morning and say, you know what, I'm going to do a bunch of these and I'm going to schedule out, you know, a bunch of different posts and I'm going to schedule out a bunch. I could do that right here and keep going, or I could just go ahead and do the, the one if I want to. And then I'm gonna go ahead and publish the post and click yes. So now we created the video in minutes. I mean, even if I had all the numbers up to verify, it, it would probably take me 15 minutes or less to, ver to, to change the numbers or verify the numbers. And then we went over to our um, social post and campaign and we, and we went ahead and posted it here, which you can see. Now we're gonna be able to see how many people liked it, how many people commented, how many people shared it. So we're set there. And if I wanna schedule this to go out again, I can, I can do that now, okay? So we've done that. And then going back to our video, I just have it open in a different tab here, by the way, that's what our, I just went back to. So we'll go back to our video. Now the next thing we can do is uh, use in campaigns. So let's go ahead and click use in campaigns. And this is now where we would run an ad. So, we're gonna, we could keep it as other or attract buyers. It really doesn't matter. So let's just say we wanna attract buyers. Where, we'll, where, where we, will your campaign run? Let's run it on Facebook, set up a campaign. And now automatically this video is gonna show up in here. And the main copy, uh, you can do that again. The Vistas North in Summerlin Market Report. Okay, and then um, headline up to date market data. I'm gonna look at this in uh, the mobile. I like to see what it looks like on mobile because everything is so condensed and you wanna design for mobile first. So up to, date, up to date market data. Let me see if it'll fit Summerlin. Up to date Summerlin market data. Home prices, days on markets. 
And uh, let's see. I'll just put neighbors, neighbor reviews or something for now. Okay. So we're going to keep that really small. Don't, I don't like to put too much there because of how, how mobile cuts it off. And most of the ads are going to be uh, engaged with on a mobile device. So there's our video. We know that it's working and now channel options. We can uh, choose Facebook. Do we want this to be a lead generation form or a site or landing page? So what happens is uh, it's a call to action and the person is then going to go somewhere. So your video is going to play and then you're going to say, learn more. So in my case, I would take them to my website that has my Summerlin market report, because I think that video should is a good call to action for a market report. So I'd find my market report on here and do it. Or I would uh, send them to a landing page on KW command that has uh, that info. Or if you want to, what we can do is use that video as a call to action for our app. So we could put something up here instead of um, the vistas. Let's do um, view all Las Vegas home prices up to date Las Vegas market data home prices days on market okay so home prices day home prices days on market reviews okay I'll just do that and then let's look at this so now we can send them to our app page on our website. So in my case, my website is ballandgrouphomes.com. And now when they go here, we are able to actually, you know what I'm going to do? We have an app URL right here. Let me just do it that way. Well, then there's no distractions. So hold on. We'll do app. Okay. So here's the app page. Now you do have to make sure you set up your marketing guide so at least your information is in here. And you can get this, your KW uh, link and text code from logging into KW command and go over to where sites are. It's now called consumer. And then you'll see a tab that says agent um, apps and then you can get your links right there. So I'm gonna send them here, why not? Let's say, let's run a Facebook ad and send them there. So in this particular case, it doesn't make sense probably to have them register first on a lead ad and then get sent to the app thing because then they're going to have to register and register. So although we know that we get more leads when we do a lead ad form than when we just send them to the URL, which is these choices right here where it says use Facebook lead generation form or use a site or landing page. When we use a Facebook lead generation form, we tend to get more, more leads, but that's better for things like real estate, uh, information on a particular property, not when they have to go register again on something. So this particular case, I'm going to take the risk. I'm not going to do a lead format. And then here, use a site or landing page and learn more. There's not a download button, right? Yeah. Learn more. Let's try sign up because that's really where they're going is to sign up and get the app destination URL or choose site. So download my app is already a page on your sites. So you don't have to paste in the URL. Like I was just showing you how to grab the URL. If you're doing this, you can just click on choose site and there's your app. Okay. And now target a custom audience. So we'll just do Las Vegas because that's where I am. And then uh, how far around it? I, I always go down to the bottom 15 miles because we have such a large area here. And then expert targeting. So if you want to, you can choose people that like Zillow or people that are renting, or you can go through this list if you want to do an audience of some sort that you think might be interested in downloading your app. But if you think about it, 
apartment guide, apartment list, apartments, renters. These would be your first time home buyers that there would be a potential that they might be interested in something like that. You can choose people that like Zillow, people that like realtor.com. So then you know they're probably out looking at houses, right? They're, those are what these interests are for that they're allowing us to, um, to, to choose in here. In my case, I'm just going to send it out to all of Vegas in this case. And then we're going to set our duration budget 10 days, $3 a day per channel is a $30 ad. Okay. If you want to do 50, then you'll have a 10 day ad $5 per day, which is generally speaking, I think a pretty good measure. And then now here they say, we recommend a 10 day campaign and a budget of $1 per channel per day. This is like, a test to see how it's going to work. So if you just put a dollar per day for 10 days, you're only going to spend $10 if you're only doing Facebook. But if you're also doing Twitter and Instagram, you're going to spend $30 because you you might be selecting it per channel, you see? Okay. And then if you do it that low, then you can always increase it or rerun it if it works out well. You can also pause your ad if it's not performing well. That's fine too. So we'll go ahead and um, save duration and budget. And then we go up here and we publish the campaign. If you have a credit, it'll tell you have a credit up here. And then you, you've got your credit card on file and we're gonna create campaign. And this is, there's so many ways to use this video. This is just one example. And that's why I'm doing the whole 365 days of command. Cause I, I'm gonna, fo I focus on lead generation strategies and lead conversion, so email campaigns, landing pages, apps, all of those types of things. So this was really simple. We created a video, we downloaded it, we can put it on YouTube, we can put it in email campaigns, we can run it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, we schedule a social post. And guys, once you put it on YouTube, you can even pin it and create a pin for it on Pinterest, of all things. So. Um, I would highly suggest that you start with at least making the video and then I'm going to be bringing you a lot more videos, a lot more, um, samples of how else we can use that video. So you got a little sneak peek at an app application today. Also, how do we advertise our app and you learned how to make a video. So that's today's video. I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. I'm Lori Ballin in Las Vegas with 365 days of KW command.